Hey, it's Dan DeLuca coming to you from my front porch in Eugene, Oregon. And today, I'm going to talk to anybody out there. This is for anybody who ever gets frustrated. So if, you, if you've never been frustrated or you don't get frustrated anymore, you don't have to watch this. On the other hand, if you have ever gotten frustrated or you still get frustrated, then you definitely want to watch and listen because I'm going to give you a question that you can ask yourself when you get frustrated that is uh, virtually guaranteed if you attempt to answer it. It's virtually guaranteed to eliminate the frustration and get you going again. So first I want to talk about frustration just a little bit. Frustration is a negative emotion. It's connected to anger. Uh, it's kind of like a, a low-level anger, if you will. A good definition of it uh, in the sense of if you're working on your business or you're doing something and it didn't turn out the way you wanted or you know you're working on your website and you went to save it uh, save your changes and it got lost you know and then you get a little upset and you're trying to figure it out or maybe you switched from using a, a PC to using a Mac computer and you don't understand that that new operating system and you're just getting a little frustrated Frustration is illuminating the gap between where you are and where you think you should be. It's illuminating the gap between where you are and where you think you should be. So what, what does that mean? Well, let's break it down just a little bit. The gap, there's a gap. You think you should be, you think you should know how to use a Mac, even though you've been using a PC your whole life or for the part of the life that you're using a computer anyway. You think you should, you have an expectation. Now let me ask you something. When you got to, uh, when you were in high school, did you just walk into the 12th grade without going to 11th grade, 10th grade, 9th grade, 8th grade? Probably not. You, you Even if you were homeschooled, you had to work your way into 12th grade, right? Or if you went to college, did you just walk in without going to grade school and high school? No. There were steps you had to take. There was a process that you had to go through in order to get there. So why do we expect to know how to use uh, the operating system on a Mac if we just bought our first Mac computer and we've been using uh, PCs for the previous 10 or 12 or 15 years? I don't know. Or um, you, would you walk into a gym and go to pick up the weight, a weight that is like heavier than you are the first time you walked into a gym? No, you would pick up like something pretty light and work it and get that resistance going and work through the resistance and build up your muscles. It's the same thing with anything else. So if you're feeling frustrated about something, Consider that it's just illuminating the gap between where you are and what your expectation of, uh, is of where you should be. So I'm going to give you a question you can ask yourself when you are frustrated that will help you reframe your frustration and get you back into action and get you going again. And here's the deal. Here's the question. So I want you to like write this down and I want you to like post it somewhere where you can see it so that when you're working and you get frustrated and it doesn't matter if you're working on your website, it doesn't matter if you're talking to a prospect and they tell you no, it doesn't matter of what the situation, it, it could be uh, talking to your partner and they tell you no or they disagree and you get frustrated because you think it should be easier, ask yourself this, what else could that mean? What else could that mean? So if you want to get more tips like this and more lessons and build your business, subscribe to my newsletter where I have lots of cool stuff and I'll let you know about videos like this. And you can subscribe at dandeluca.com slash newsletter and the uh, URL will be uh, right there. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you at the top.